what's going down. Uh, so far, it's 8 a.m. We've got $19,195 raised for Missoula. Yep. So that's pretty good. We still have 15 hours left, 16 hours left. So you guys can donate all the way up until midnight tonight for your favorite nonprofit. We've right. got over 130. Uh, yeah, so if you go to givelocalmissoula.org, that's where you can donate. Yeah, so like I said before, uh, we're here downtown in the Florence mm -hmm. Hotel here in Missoula, Montana. We have, there's a lot going on today. This is going to be like a seven hour live stream, huge big event. Not only do we have our morning show, this is kind of like our kickoff morning show from like eight to nine. We're also going to have um, Mark Heka and Susan A. Patrick hosting the afternoon show from 11 to three. So if you guys don't know who Susan A. Patrick is, she is the executive director of United Way here in Missoula, Montana. And of course, Mark Heka is the one and only um, Mark Heka. Yeah, one and only Mark Heka. From KCI Weatherman. Yes. He who coined the term grapple. Our favorite weatherman, yep. Missoula's favorite weatherman, obviously. He hosts lots of things around town, and Susan Hey Patrick is just a riot. Yeah, and, great. We're, and we're just kind of like chilling here. We're just hanging out. It's great. I just got some coffee over at uh, Posh Chocolate. Excellent. So um, let's much. talk about some of the where, where you can donate. Yeah. So um, for some of you, like some of you uh, can go online. So you go to givelocalmissoula.org yep. and you can find out where you can give. Um, if you have your nonprofit of choice, you don't know what you want to do for nonprofit, there's a whole list of nonprofits on that website at givelocalmissoula.org. Yeah, just go. But of course, um, there is donor lounges. So here at the Florence Building, you can come to the Florence Building, downtown Missoula, and you can um, donate here. You can um, give money, like physical money, if you guys don't trust the computers with all them um, uh, credit card stealing information type things, which you know you don't have to worry about because um, Give Local is certified and they ha have a good um, service in terms of taking your money. Yes, they do. So if you guys want to go to givelocal.org, you can uh, click on the tab that says Discover Nonprofits. It'll be a drop down menu and it'll give you different things or different like categories that the nonprofits are in. They've got animals, human services, education, um, arts and culture, and they have one more uh, environment. And so you can click on there and click on maybe you don't know what nonprofit you want to donate to. Click on Discover Nonprofits, click on the theme, and it'll give you the list. And you can see how much they're trying to donate. And, or how much they're trying to raise. Uh, you can choose how much you want to donate. It's a minimum of $10. Yep. So it's good that each one at least gets 10 bucks. Yeah, but it'll go on all day long. Yep. And so Missoula Community Access Television, we're also on that list. So you're more than welcome to donate to us because we're trying to raise fifteen thousand dollars, and this is mostly for a lot of our live streaming capabilities. Mm -hmm. We just uh, bought a new system that allows us to basically live stream from anywhere on the planet using cellular bonding. We could even go up to the top of Mount Jumbo and just bring a camera up there and live stream from right up there. Yeah. It'd be great. If the cell phone service is good. It's all about using the <laughs> cellular cell phone service the in the air. Cellular technology. Yep. Cellular bonding. Yep. It's pretty sweet. It, it, it is pretty awesome. And um, MCAT's definitely in the up and up in terms of, of live streaming and videography. So if you're interested in being a part of MCAT, MCAT um, is Missoula Community Access Television. We offer um, training and uh, opportunities for people to make their own videos and be a part of um, the video making process at MCAT, which is located downtown. So all we got to do is just do a hop, skip, and a, um, and a, a trolley. A trolley. A trolley. A trolley. I'm just making stuff up right now. <laughs> um, to MCAT at 500 North Higgins. But of course, you can always come down to the Florence Building, say hi to us, and we mm -hmm. are definitely live. Yes, we're live, we're alive, yep. and we're live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, once again, you go to give local um, Missoula dot org to yes. uh, donate to your nonprofit of choice. Um, let's talk a little bit about the donor lounges. Yeah. So the work, like if you guys want to donate um, online, you guys can stop by. There's many donor lounges that are offering a lot of great stuff. And mm -hmm. um, one of the donor lounges I'm going to talk about right now is free cycles. Yeah. So if you go down. Um, First Street, or if you, if you want to get off Walnut Street, just off the of third, it's a straight shot all the way to First Street, and that's basically where you see free cycles. I have a nice little um, image. You can also uh, just take Orange Street and then turn on to First Street from Orange. I feel like that's pretty quickly. So, too. as you can see, this is free cycles. It's oh. a it's a, a it's a um, facility that allows you to basically use old recycled parts from bikes and make your own bikes or learn how to um, 
fix, repair, do all sorts of wonderful things with bikes. And they're trying to buy the facility. They're trying to raise a million dollars through Give Local, not just through Give Local, but through many different um, avenues as well. They provide a lot of services for people here in town, and it's free cycles. So it's a free service that they provide for the community. And you guys can check out all this great stuff by logging on to Free Cycles, Missoula. I think it's freecycles.org. And so Free Cycles, uh, starting at 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., will be giving out snacks. They'll be giving out a bike tube patch kit and free bike repairs to the first 24 donors. So if you donate and you're one of those first 24, you can get your bike fixed for free. Yeah, and also, you know, some general knowledge about Free Cycles. Um, yep. So that's pretty nice. That's a, that's a good thing. And we also have a list of some more donor lounges. Uh, Missoula Fresh Market, the one on Broadway, as well as the one off of Reserve Street. They are going to be doing from 6 a.m. to 11. They'll be giving out snacks and free sandwiches to donors. So if you're donating and you're hungry, you know, just spend all your money. You can go in there and get a free sandwich. Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, Noel, do you like uh, do you like cereal? No. You don't? Well, that's too bad. <laughs> We're going to talk about Rose Hours because they have... Uh, oh. They, 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 they always have their 13-hour cereal sale. That, that's what they're known for. They have a 13-hour cereal sale? Oh, yeah, totally. I didn't know that. And um, what, so what, um, Rose Hours is also having uh, their own little donut lounge in their yes, Huckleberry they Fresh Market. So they mm -hmm. have a little section in their Huckleberry Fresh Market. So we'll just take they a do, quick yes. little look. So from 8 to 1 p.m., they will be giving out free coffee, donuts, and fruit. And donors will be entered into a drawing to win a $200 gift card. And you get a, you know, get a hangout, and you see this nice little lounge area. Yeah. You know, it's it's pretty chill. It's you know, like it's totally been remodeled because I remember back in the day they used to have like a tiny little restaurant in there, and now it's like a nice, nice little cute cafe. Oh, and you cute. guys can go in there and get some coffee, um, get some snacks, and of course you can donate to your nonprofit of choice. Yes, yes you can. Mm -hmm. And so they're generously giving their space for us to uh, go get, yeah, free sandwiches and stuff. Yeah, we have, a, there's just definitely a lot to talk about, a little, uh, mostly too much, and we'll get, a little, we'll talk a little bit more about donor lounges, but of course, Noel, um, you have a little challenge for me? I do, yes, I've got some trivia for Scott. All yeah. right, dissolve. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oh, is this my camera? Yeah. What's up? Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> read the mission statement and then quiz Scott on it. Okay, so the first one is, um, this is the mission statement for the first question. You don't want to show me that, do you? <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry. I'm sure he's already seen that, my answers. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I play fair. <laughs> to save the hungry, the helpless, the lost, and the little ones just struggling to survive, to house and feed as many animals as possible, to ease the suffering of the weak and unloved, to create a no-kill community and mm. realize the achievement of a no-kill nation. I see. So you had me at no kill, but of course, when you started talking about animals and feeding, I, I, I'll ultimately assume it's animals. Oh, good job! Yeah. Of course, the first one's always the easiest. It always gets harder after time goes on because there's an extensive amount of nonprofits in Missoula that you can donate to. Animals is a great organization that you guys can donate to by logging on to animals.org. Yes. Yep. And they have their um, uh, a cat to me awards every year that helps raise money to help. You know, n n you know, non-kill, non-kill animal shelter, and of course, it's like one of the best ways to do it. You know, you um, capture strays, spay and neuter them, and sometimes some um, agencies kind of set the cats or animals free again because once you spay and neuter them, that it ultimately solves the issue of. Yeah, they're like it's like they're like 18 years old. You know, you spay or neuter them, they just set them off into the world. Should we? That's should, terrible. Do you, <laughs> let's let's go to a nice little PSA and let, let, then maybe we can get Meredith out here. She's the, from the Missoula Community Foundation, but she's also um, helped help spearhead the Give Local campaign. So hopefully we'll have her right back. But if we not, we'll have more um, um, more to talk about. Yes, for sure. So stay we'll with be us. Back right after this. I'm Mark Moss from Telesec. I'm Amy Solenberg from Climate Smart Missoula. I'm Joel Baird from Missoula Community Access Television. I'm Heidi Wallace with NCBI Missoula. And we, we receive, receive support from Missoula Community, Community Foundation. Foundation. Give once and support all of your favorite nonprofits. Donate to Missoula Community Foundation on May 3rd during Give Local Missoula at givelocalmissoula.org. Thank you. They support us. And us. And us. And us too. Give once and support all of your favorite nonprofits. Donate to Missoula Community Foundation on May 3rd at givelocalmissoula.org. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
everyone out there in TV land. I'm Captain Kale, and this is my trusty sidekick, Bobby Cole Robbie. We're Garden City Harvest superheroes of giving, and we need you to join our Vegolution on May 3rd for Give Local Missoula. Your donation makes growing magic happen at our 20 farms and gardens on 20 acres for our 20th year. While Bobby shows you some dance moves like the funky free-range chicken, I'll tell you how to make the most of this 24-hour online giving event. Donate on May 3rd to Garden City Harvest, dance just like her, and post the video in celebration on Facebook. And thanks for helping Garden City Harvest work to build a healthy, vibrant community. Garden, Garden City, City Harvest wants you to grow, feed, inspire. I'm Holland Buck with the Child Development Center, and this is my daughter. Children of all abilities deserve a chance to reach their potential. That's why we partner with families to support their children with delays or disabilities where they live, play, and grow. As a mom, it's comforting to know I can turn to the Child Development Center if I ever have any questions about how my daughter's learning and growing. As a professional, I'm proud to be that resource for other local families, from babies to high schoolers. Please consider giving $10 to the Child Development Center during Give Local Missoula County on May 3rd at givelocalmissoula.org. Your gift could help change a child's life. Thank you. Hello, my name is Joellen Shannon and I'm the Marketing and Development Director at Sussex School. Sussex School is a K-8 independent progressive school in Missoula, Montana. We focus on experiential education, the arts, and the natural world, getting our students to love to learn. On May 3rd, we are participating in the Give Local Missoula Day. Please consider a donation to our school on May 3rd. Your gift will support our school, our students, and our financial aid program, which supports families of all income levels in the hope that we can create more opportunity for students to attend Sussex who want to come to our school. Thank you for your consideration, and check out GiveLocalMissoula.org on May 5th. Hey everybody, we're back here for the uh, Give Local Wake Up Missoula morning thing with uh, morning live edition. streaming through MCAT, and we're here with Meredith Prince, and she is with the uh, Missoula Community Foundation, and mm -hmm. she's talking, she's here to talk a little bit more about Give Local. So um, tell us, um, for people who don't know what Give Local is, what is Give Local? Yeah, so Give Local Missoula County is a 24-hour online giving event. Uh, you can go to givelocalmissoula.org and give 10 or more dollars to one or more of your favorite local nonprofits. We have 133 nonprofits signed up this year, and we're hoping to raise $300,000 from 3,000 donors in 24 hours. And we kicked it off at midnight, and I think we have raised about 20,000 so far. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's only eight something in the morning, and we've got a huge yeah. amount already. So that's good because we are competing with Bozeman. So yes, <laughs> hopefully we. <laughs> yeah. but you guys had a kickoff event. How did the kickoff event at Plonk go last night? It was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we had quite a few people come show up and mm -hmm. donate and get a free cocktail with each donation of ten dollars or more. Nice. And we'll actually be there again from five to six p.m. for happy hour. So awesome. So that's if you missed it at midnight, you got another chance. To and come so out. last year was the first time that we did this, right? Actually, 2014 was the oh, first okay. time. Okay, yeah. and then what inspired you guys to put this together? Well, um, this is a part of a national day of giving, Give Local America, which was uh, formed as a celebration of the first, uh, the 100th anniversary of the first community foundation oh, cool. in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, the idea came to us through the United Way, actually. They mm -hmm. brought the idea to us, and we thought it was a great idea and decided to do it. Has it been hard organizing all these nonprofits and like calling everyone and be like, hey, are you interested? Yeah, it is a challenge. There's a, with 133 nonprofits, there's a lot of people and a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. um, but luckily this year, 
uh, I have some help. I have yeah. a, another <laughs> colleague. The past two years, it's just been me, and of course, a wonderful committees and steering committee. So yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's such a great, it's such a great event, and it's a good idea to, you know, have a full day to get back to our nonprofits because we are the land of nonprofits. Yep. Yes. So <laughs> sometimes we forget about them. I feel like kind of take them for granted. So That's we also journey. have yeah. uh, another person here today as well. Uh, that, um, let's talk a little about a, bit, a little bit more about him. Sure, yeah. Um, Missoula Federal Credit Union is our premier sponsor, and we have Jack Lawson, the CEO, here to talk a little bit about uh, why, why they're supporting Give Local. Awesome, great. Yeah. Ooh, the CEO, huh? Yeah, yeah, nice. he's the big guy. Nice. Cool. <laughs> so um, we're, we're going to have him on in just a bit, um, and we'll be back with a whole bunch of, uh, well, well, here's a whole bunch of PSAs in between. Yeah. Hello, I'm Lulu Delphine. And I'm Lizzie Judah of Turning the Wheel Missoula. Turning the Wheel Missoula creates vibrant, healthy communities using movement as the catalyst for change. Our organization fosters the social, emotional, and physical health of youth, their mentors, and their communities. Our curriculum developed over 25 years of working with youth is steeped in body-based practices, positive psychology, dance and theater improvisation, and performance. We serve with experiential reference points of wellness, leadership, and self-expression. Vibrant individual health lays the foundation for communities that are collaborative, inclusive, and creative. Safe havens for learning and growing and catalysts for a bright future. Proceeds raised through Give Local will fund Turning the Wheel Missoula's local programs with ages 8 through 18 and their mentors and teachers. Any amount you can contribute would be most appreciated. Thank you so much. Hi, you guys. Hey. We are back, and we're here with the CEO of uh, Missoula Federal Credit Union. Hello? Oh, the big guy. Yeah. No, it's not like that. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you guys are kind of, you know, one of the big sponsors of this. Why, what's your reasoning for that? Well, I mean, Missoula Federal Credit Union has been giving local for a long, long time, 60 mm -hmm. years. You know, sometimes in philanthropy, sometimes in sponsorship of local events, volunteer hours for employees, um, you know, even in the products and services. So it just kind of fits. I mean, it really does fit with our long, um, our long legacy of giving local here in Missoula. Yeah, yeah. It's great that you guys are involved. And, you know, I mean, everyone goes to Missoula Federal Credit Union as their bank. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to kind of have you guys, yeah, just like immerse yourself, I guess. Absolutely. It's really fun to be a part of. Meredith has been great. Uh, mm -hmm. Our employees, we have 140 employees. They're really, really excited about it. We've been advertising on the website and the kind of the reader boards that you see as you drive by the credit union. So we're, we're, we're pretty engaged. We're really excited about this. And so you guys are one of the donor lounges. Yes. So tell us uh, what, what does that mean? So what that, we're actually multiple donor lounges. What that means is that um, members or non-members even can visit any of our branches today. We have six, four kind of around Missoula, one in Stevensville, one on the first floor of University Center. Mm -hmm. And there get information about Give Local. Mm -hmm. Um, if they're a member, they can actually transact through their account to make their donation. Um, and we can also help people learn a little bit about our unique uh, Buzz Points rewards program to use cool. Buzz Points um, from cards to uh, donate to local not for profits. So, what are Buzz Points? Buzz Points are pretty cool. Um, you know, the, so the, the typical kind of credit card rewards program. Um, pays you as a card holder when you spend money and you will amass those points until you have enough for a hotel or a flight or oh, something cool. like that. Right, cool, very great. Yeah. Doesn't do much to stimulate the local economy though, <laughs> right? So what we've done is we've sort of designed this um, hyper local rewards program where whether it's a credit card or a debit card, you're earning points as you spend. Uh -huh. You earn more points if you spend at locally owned businesses. And the only places you can redeem those points are at locally owned businesses or local not for profits. Uh -huh. So it's a pretty cool program. So yeah. um, how many locations are you guys uh, hosting like donor lounge where people can donate? So there's uh, each branch is a donor lounge today. That's uh, six branches. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So the clo which one is the closest one? Here? Yeah. So we're at the Florence, if folks don't know, I imagine <laughs> they do. Um, and the closest, uh, the closest um, branch here is our downtown branch, 126 Spruce. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. 
Nice. Is there anything else that you want to tell us about Give Local and about the Missoula Federal Credit Union's Well, you know, involvement? we can challenge him to see what, uh, his knowledge on Give Local. We could. Okay, let's see. <laughs> We've been playing this let's game see, where she reads oh, the okay. mission Good. statement Good. of the nonprofits, and we just have to... And I identify them? And we have to identify which uh, okay. Um, okay. nonprofit do they That sounds belong. good. Okay, okay. Building a community that supports our connection, aliveness, safety, and economic resilience by providing a service exchange based on time in which everyone has something of value to contribute. Uh, this strengthens families, maintains democracy, increases community involvement, and encourages social justice when members earn hours for work that they may not be valued in the dollar community. Huh. Holy smokes! Uh, I don't know who that is, but I love the mission statement. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was you know it was it's almost Missoula Federal Credit Union until you're doing the uh, dollars per yeah. value of uh, labor donated, and, and that's the perfect one. It's like it's like it's the one thing where you know, like money is not yeah. their yeah. thing. Who is it? It is. No way. I, I got it. It's, okay. It's uh. Is it Time Bank? Yes, yes. So the Missoula That's Time right. Banks, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> the Missoula Time Bank is awesome. Um, you can you can sign up on their website or go onto their website and you if you need like your your yard raked but you make jam, you can enlist someone to rake your yard and then pay them in jam. So it's so like that. It's, 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 it's funny. Like services it, 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 and products without it's, money. It's like bartering. It's it a is. lot of bar it's the, like bartering. Yeah, it's like services and products without money. <laughs> it's bartering. like so if, if, if it's like okay, I'll do your roof, and then maybe you give me like a thirty minute massage or something. Exactly. Yep. That's totally how it is. <laughs> that's totally, that's totally how, it is. how it is. Yeah. I mean, that, I think that's great. It is I, great. I first heard of Missoula Time Bank, and I was just like, oh, what? This is amazing. So um, before we let you go, um, yeah. where where can people find more information about um, your organization? Our organization, best place is the website, Missoula FCU, as in Federal Credit Union, dot org. Right. Lots of good information there, including on Give Local. Awesome. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah, we good appreciate to meet you, you coming thanks. on. Yeah, thanks. We'll be right back after this. I'm Ellie Costello, the director of the Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. We work on promoting urban sustainability throughout Missoula, and our biggest resource in doing so is our tool library with over 2,000 tools for members to check out and use. We hope that you'll give to us this year for Give Local on May 3rd because we want to use that funding to help keep our tool library open longer and make sure that we have more staffing to create efficiencies for folks coming to use our tools. Thanks so much. The Montana World Affairs Council, a nonpartisan nonprofit organization dedicated to fostering global awareness and understanding in Montana's classrooms and communities. On May 3rd, go to givelocalmissoula.org to donate $10 or more to us to support global citizenship. All funds raised on Give Local Day will help us produce classroom programs for kids across the state. So if you have the world on your mind, come support the Montana World Affairs Council on May 3rd. The, the Montana, Montana World, World Affairs, Affairs Council, Council bringing, bringing the world to Montana and Montana to the world. Hey, welcome back to uh, Wake Up Missoula's um, uh, Give Local special Give on a local. Tuesday. Uh, right? this, like, what would you be doing this Tuesday morning? Uh, I guess I'd be getting ready for class. But because it was a Tuesday and it flew, threw me off, I accidentally uh, thought I'd set my alarm, set my alarm for a normal Wednesday and woke up very late. <laughs> uh, well, a apparently um, <laughs> the volume on my phone um, didn't wake me up because I had it originally scheduled for uh, 6 a.m. Yeah. Just to be like, okay, wake up at 6 a.m. Because yeah, me and Get Meredith ready. was going to, I mean, like, they're going to let us in in this building around 6.30. Mm -hmm. So I had to set up, like, a whole live cast uh, <laughs> yeah. studio type setup. So, of course, uh, we'll show you that later in the show. Just kind of show you all the magic behind uh, what we're doing here in the Florence Hotel. There's, yes. there's a lot of work. We have lights. We have we've cameras, got cameras. We've got a table. We have... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we brought our studio cameras, which I was surprised to see. Well, if we brought our studio cameras, seat. then we can control the um, cameras like behind the scenes because they're all robotic. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can control the cameras behind the scenes. That's the whole point. But, but yeah, they're <laughs> robotic, so we don't have to have cameramen. You know, 
We just have robots. Yeah. Oh, the world. <laughs> what is the world coming to? <laughs> But yeah, of course, let's talk a little bit more about where people can give. And yes. of course, Give Local, um, Missoula.org mm -hmm. is a great website where you guys can log on to and find out more information about uh, Give Local in general, but most of all, uh, donate to your nonprofit of choice. And of course, we just had one of the bigger uh, sponsors here, the uh, CEO of uh, Missoula First yes. Credit Union. Jack Lawson, right? Is that yes. his name? Jack Lawson. Okay. I don't want to get it wrong. So yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> better just say CEO rather than his name if you get it wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's what I had in mind. But you guys, it is uh, 826. Missoula has raised $23,035. Twenty-three thousand thirty-five. Yeah, that's uh, like this morning. It was like at seven. Like, yes, it, 7 it, like when you first checked it, was it like ten thousand dollars? Yeah. Yes. No. No. Seven a.m. It was like yeah. It was like fifteen thousand dollars. Seven a.m. already. Yeah, because I heard like uh, Meredith made a joke. It's like, oh, I, well, I wish it was seventeen thousand. Well, now it's twenty-three thousand dollars raised for Give Local through mm -hmm. all the nonprofits here in town, and we of course did challenge uh, the the city of Bozeman. Yes, and we did. I, I do have. I hopefully I'll bring up a video of the mayor himself challenging Bozeman to this whole Give Local event, and I'll have that queued up for you guys in a bit. But yes. um, do you want to do you want to play another uh, non-profit? Yeah, let's, um, yeah, let's do some more trivia. Okay. So let's see. Okay, this one is kind of this one is kind of crazy. Okay, so as a church, they opened at this place in the fall of 2013, striving to create a venue for new, upcoming, and/or inexperienced artists while constructing vibrant and conversation-worthy exhibits for the public. They are a nonprofit dedicated to giving our proceed, their proceeds to local organizations which make positive differences in the community. Through the artists they sponsor, the nonprofits they support, and the encouragement for collaboration and discussion, their wish is to create a wholesome environment where artists can express themselves regardless of belief or theme or experience. Uh, they hope to bring a different, uh, different worlds together and provide opportunities to explore our differences through visual, musical, and literary arts. Huh. Huh. Literary arts. It, it Let's was see. A church. I, that's one thing that surprised me was that as a church, I was like, oh. Oh, is. I didn't know that any of our galleries were considered churches. So, so oh, a, okay, so the, the, the clue is it's a gallery. It's a gallery. Is this uh, the Missoula Art Museum? No. Um, nope. Okay, I only get one guess. It's a E3 Convergence <laughs> Gallery. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they are trying to raise $1,000. Yeah. 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 E3 <laughs> I, I totally got that vibe from the, I don't know. I well, like I that. didn't know. I had no idea. You never know and a lot of these their, places. I wonder, I mean, they said as a church, they opened the gallery. Yeah. Thought, so they were a church first and then opened a gallery? Or they opened a gallery and called it a church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. You want to do another one? Yeah. Scott should know this one. To serve the Missoula community with free concerts during the summertime. Free concerts during the summertime? Mm -hmm. I should know this one? Yes, you should. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's the... Um, Missoula City Band. Yes, good job, Scott. Yes. <laughs> they want to raise five hundred dollars. They want to just five hundred dollars. Only five. They're not too ambitious. It's yeah. Good. It's it's better to aim lower, and then like if you get more money. Because like, uh, yeah. Gary is very like. Um, Gary Gillette, Yeah. He, he's he's like, a realist. He's a he's totally realist. Like <laughs> he like uh, back in the day, like not too long ago, um, Gary Gillette, uh, the city was just like because uh, the city um, Missoula does fund. Um, they, they just give a couple, you know, dollars here and there for like the space. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mostly for renting the space over in Bonner, um, so they can have um, these city concerts for a, a lot of the people. And they, they always fill up. There's always a lot of people yeah. who do all these, um, who would just show up and listen to some nice, like well, old contemporary, not a contemporary, but, but old, old like march music. Yeah, and jazz. Well, and it's such a good like fun family thing to do over yeah. the summer you know like our sun doesn't set till like 10 or 11 at night you it's still when what times in the city band happen in the summers like five six, eight eight see it's still nice and bright out it's beautiful you can spend your nice evening there and so um where is the city band usually held Bonner park Bonner park yep it's Great. uh you just take a go off of um, Hastings Avenue uh -huh. it's basically behind Paxson Elementary yep yep and so in the band shell 
And when does that start, Scott? It starts um, in the like towards the end of June. They start rehearsals, and all the rehearsals are done at Sentinel High School, which is just off of South Street. So if you're interested in being a part of the city band, let's say dusting off your old trombone, um, <laughs> like got here, <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It's a, it's an actual trombone. It's really yeah, it's a real yeah. trombone. So. <laughs> And you can go there, and you can you can play music. They all sight read their music, and they just practice for the one day, and then they perform the next um, the next day. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's literally like one day of practice, <laughs> uh, and then you play. It's like a two hour rehearsal. It all starts at seven. You go until nine, and there's songs that they play, which are fairly easy for the um, for the amateur of yeah. a musical. They want to make sure that they appeal to everyone that is going to be playing in the band, either yeah, like yes. novice or advanced. But you know, you know who else really likes um, all these CD band performances? Who? The elderly. <laughs> and by the elderly, the Missoula Senior Center ha is hosting a little donor lounge. And of oh, course, nice. I do have an. I, I'd rather just show you guys the video because uh, um, Michelle from the Missoula Senior Center gave me a nice little tour of the Senior Center. So of course, I'll get that queued up. That's great. Um, so where Missoula is that Senior thing? Center, um, I'll look for it for you guys. I do believe that they're also giving out. They've got a free lunch, um, and they also have. Okay, so they have got. They're open from eight to four. They've got a free lunch, eleven thirty to twelve thirty, and bingo from twelve forty-five to three. Yep. So, do you have our little tour? Yes, we have that little tour. Perfect. Check out the Missoula Senior Center. Computers of your choice, you can use any one of these on Give Local Day to donate to the nonprofit of your choice. Hopefully, it's us, but we're, you're welcome anyway. You put that in, and then the popcorn in. Hi, so when you come to the Donor Lounge on Give Local Day, May 3rd, you get to have a free lunch, of which our cooks prepare every day from 11.30 to 12.30 as a free lunch, and then um, you also can stay and play bingo on us, just as our thank you for coming to donate to Give Local Missoula. This is our alcove. Uh, you get, we usually have tables set up here for lunch. Um, right now we're doing getting ready for our rummage sale. Um, this is our kitchen and it's run by all volunteers except for one paid staff who is our head cook and she prepares the best meals in town. Normally, if you're 60 and a Missoula County resident, it's $4. If you're not, it's six. And if you're a student, it's five. And this is our thrift store. Um, we are open Monday through Friday from 10 to three. And which is completely run by volunteers. Um, my assistant and I supervise, but it is completely run by volunteers. We have our quilting ladies back here. Say hi. Hi. Very good. And then over here is the clothing area. And we pride ourselves on being the lowest price thrift store in town. And as you can see, we have a large variety of items from kitchenware to clothes to shoes to nice things, like crystal glasses and that kind of thing. So thanks for coming along on this little tour of the Missoula Senior Center. Hope to see you on a good local day. Hey guys, we're back here, and of course, uh, um, the city of Missoula did challenge Bozeman to this whole Give Local event. So uh, let's let's look at what Missoula is at right now. Okay. So um, from what from last time we checked, it was twenty three thousand dollars. Now we're at twenty four thousand yep. dollars. Our goal, just so you guys know, the Give Local goal is. Uh, um, three hundred thousand yeah. dollars, and of course, last year we got about two hundred fifty. I think it was two hundred seventy. We should sure, probably should have asked Meredith that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll um, find out for you guys later. <laughs> but we have a nice little video um, featuring our uh, mayor John Engen. 
Yes, we do. Challenging the mayor of Bozeman and the city of Bozeman. Yep. So hopefully uh, the city pulls through. Yeah, but here he is. Hi, I'm Missoula Mayor John Ingen, and I love living in my hometown. I love living in Montana. And like many of you, I believe in giving back to community. And on May 3rd, throughout many cities in Montana, you'll have a chance to contribute to your community in a meaningful way. Um, Give Local Missoula is our program. That's the way that through the Missoula Community Foundation, we raise money to make a difference in lives throughout the city. Um, our goal this year is to raise about $300,000 from 3,000 folks in one day. That's the 3rd of May, Give Local Day. Um, we have had tremendous success, and all it takes is 10 bucks a person, pretty cheap, pretty low threshold investment, but makes a huge difference if enough people participate. A tremendously successful program here in Missoula, and we'd like to offer a little bit of a friendly challenge. It turns out there's this community on the other side of the state, starts with a B, has a Z in it. Uh, they do, I think there's a university there. They do, I think, agricultural education of some kind. Maybe there's more than that going on. Um, as it turns out, there's a bit of a rivalry between the community of Bozeman and Missoula, uh, but it's friendly and it all works. And one of the ways it can work on May 3rd is as you give big Gallatin, uh, you have an opportunity to sort of show Missoulians that folks on that side of the state are uh, as generous as Missoulians. Not sure you are. Um, the only way to really demonstrate it is to raise money. So we want to raise three hundred thousand dollars. We're challenging you to raise two sixty. What do you think, Meredith? Two sixty? I don't know. Three is a pretty good number. Three. Three is a pretty good number. Why? Why don't we suggest that the folks in Gallatin County can raise three hundred thousand dollars to support local efforts in? Bozeman and surrounding areas here in Missoula will raise $300,000 to support our efforts. Um, and if we both get there, everyone benefits. Uh, I don't know if you can do it, frankly. It's kind of a challenge, kind of a calling you out, kind of a saying, can Bozeman step up and do the right thing? I think you can, but why don't you show me? In the meantime, we'll do our best to show you how it's done in Missoula. and will make a difference for everyone and make lives better. Pretty phenomenal program. Let's give it a whirl. Thanks. Oh, there we are. We're back. Oh, uh, sorry. I, like, I pushed the button as we're transitioning out because there's an auto transition. But anyways, uh, welcome back to the Give Local Wake Up Missoula uh, extravaganza thing. Extravaganza. So we'll be, we're live until 9 a.m. this morning. Um, yes, we are. On um, MCAT.org, uh, local live. Of course, we've been um, tweeting and uh, Facebooking it where you can find out where you could see us live on our channel. Of course, we'll post this uh, episode of Wake Up Missoula, of course, online. Um, at wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula and of course you can let on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. <laughs> all, the, all the great social medias. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, we have a couple more of yeah, these. Yeah, we got um, some more games. Yeah, we totally do. I have some more trivia for Scott. Okay. All right. Okay. Is it, is it better like, it, like you're doing this to me rather than uh, the other way around? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you, you can see kind of see how the thrill, the thrill of it all. Okay, so this place is dedicated to the conservation of bears and their habitats around oh. the world. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> is there any more information that you can give me? Or am I going to have to guess? You just have to guess. Uh, it's the bears. It's for the bears. It's for the bears. Were, were, was this guy on our show with a big bear that one time? No, I, I have no idea. Um, like two years ago. <laughs> Remember. It's a it's a it's a nonprofit that benefits the bears. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna make up a name. Is it the uh, uh, Friends of Grizzly Bear <laughs> Alliance? Okay, <laughs> pretty close. It's a like Great Bear Foundation. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's a foundation. They've got some foundations. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Uh, okay, I just have to remember foundation. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, serves the public by engaging audiences and artists in the exploration of contemporary art relevant to the community, state, and region. Is it the Zach? Nope. 
No. Missoula Art Museum. Oh, <laughs> I thought I think like, it's like it's like, it like I think Zach is more contemporary. Yeah, I think the Zach is more contemporary too. But they also like I guess they're they're more of a community center. Yeah. The while Zach. the Mam is all about the art. Yeah. Yeah, the MAM is all about the so art, and they have a few classes, but the Zach has like. Let's talk a bit. Let's time. talk about the MAM a little bit. Yeah. So the Missoula Art Museum has been around Missoula forever. Like I remember time. when I was just a little Scotty, just going around town. <laughs> a little Scotty. And um, I mean, like we we got taken to the um, Missoula Art Museum before they added the the whole new part of it. I yeah. remember when it was the old version was it of it. Just the it was that it was just the old brick building that you know that brick building yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. like and the stairway that would go into yeah. it that was the original man oh and um then they, they added it on so it modern. this like it's the, one part's modern and of course they kept the old aesthetics of the old design but mm -hmm. of course uh yeah i mean there's a bunch of um organizations and a bunch of people love um the downtown missoula area because it has a interesting flavor and character for sure it does which is why you know like um like one of the nonprofit organizations is to save the merc mm -hmm. like there's uh it, it basically is by the title Save the Merc. So you can find more information about that because they're also trying to raise money at um Actually, it's like a historic preservation committee, yes. and you can donate to them if you're, and they're the ones who are spearheading to save the Merc. So, if you like the whole downtown aesthetic area, like the Florence Hotel and all that stuff, the, these kind of organizations are good in preserving Missoula's history. They are, yes. One other thing, opinions aside, <laughs> one other great thing about the Missoula Art Museum is that they give lots of different classes for kids and teens. Uh, they always have like an open figure drawing, which I always think is awesome. You they always have a kids' day. There's yeah. always, all the schools are going through there, there's thousands of kids all the time. And it's free. It's, well, not their, their, pro, their programs sometimes are not free, but if you want to go into the Missoula Art Museum and check out art, it's free. It's completely free. You can go in there and check the stuff out, and yeah, it's a great time. The Missoula Art Museum, I think, is uh, very important to Missoula, because, you know, it's kind of like the base home art art gallery and then we have all these other little ones surrounding it so that's pretty nice too yeah, it's great um yeah. so uh, speaking of a lot of the like the kids um education programs mm -hmm. mcat does a lot of like after school programs um we're, we're hopefully going to get in, in, involved with spark which is an in-school um immersion type uh, education program which yes. it also uses dance and yep. art and brings people from the community to become like part-time super part-time teachers yeah but basically using what they know into the schools yeah, and for so little kids. And one of the, um, like, yes. MCAT does a lot of great things for a lot of education after school, especially we partnership. We basically, <coughs> MCAT's always been the, uh, the voice of a lot of nonprofits here in town. We uh, offer uh, uh, production, um, live streaming, as you can mm -hmm. see, and yep. to a lot of uh, local nonprofits here around Lots town. Of editing, yeah. All of our PSAs uh, were, you know, the nonprofits came into MCAT and used our facilities. and. Filmed, uh, we filmed them, so. Yeah, and we usually provide 12 hours free to nonprofits. Yep. The first 12 hours are free. It's always like, in terms of like filming your lecture, your rally, your mm -hmm. concerts, all mm -hmm. that stuff. So it's set up, filming, and editing, 12 hours completely free. That is through our media assistance program. You can go online to MCAT.org and you can find our forms tab up on our our uh, search bar. It's you know it's on our website. Yep. But and it's uh, click on media assistant grants. And yep. so if you're a nonprofit, you can fill that out. And if you have an event or a discussion or a lecture or organization, anything, we will come film it, edit, and Boom. put it on our channel. 12 hours for free. But of course, uh, we also. Uh, are on um, givelocalmissoula.org. You can donate to us. Um, MCAT is doing a lot of things in the community. Um, we're, we're trying to expand on our whole education program within the schools and after school programs, but also providing summer camps. But the big thing that we're doing this um, coming up is we're trying to get a 12-person uh, van Oh yeah! So we can transport the kids um, from the schools to the MCAT facilities so they can get a whole experience from a, a television studio set up, tear down, all sorts of great stuff. And we're also partnered um, with a um, Sentinel High School Media Academy. So yes. we're the ones that sponsor them as well. And so, so what, tell us about Sentinel High School Media Academy. So Sentinel High School Media Academy is a, uh, a mini academy. Oh. It's a, <laughs> that started um, 
through kind of like a, a, an idea that um, MCAT would provide equipment for these kids who wanted to make um, television production and use it for educational purposes and they've made a lot of great videos and documentaries and stuff and short videos that they've made that we have shown on our channel as well as um, very first um, sports we've done some live oh, yes. sports we've live streamed some sports through Sentinel High School a lot of the home crosstime rivals a lot of people really appreciate it there's always a good following for people who want to see their kid if they're traveling from like um, Moscow, Idaho, the and just going to um, mm -hmm. you know just all sorts of from all over the place. Yeah. people are, love the, the sports for people sure. People do love the sports. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> weird. I think it's people love sports. I probably should have <laughs> said the sports because it made me sound like a sports. nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Scott and I just know TV. I just love the sports. The sports. <laughs> <laughs> but um, speaking of more um, after school programs and like uh, opportunities, um, mm -hmm. Home Resource yes. is a, a new organiz is uh, started they've a new. A they've been around for a while, but, but they really started getting into the nonprofit and education sector by offering a lot of people new skills. Basically, you get to learn to recycle old uh, used building materials to make uh, buildings and all sorts of great stuff. Yeah, and I got a nice dance. little tour, and it's a donor lounge, so oh, I got a awesome. nice little tour, and I got uh, a nice video from them. Um, from um, Yeah, so you great. get a chance to see what's going on at the Home Resource. Okay, and let's see. I'll read you guys. I'll see what, they're, what they have going on. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Oh, okay, here they are. Okay, so Home Resource from 11 to 2 o'clock today. They've got coffees and cookies, and there'll be co coasters for the first 40 donors, and there'll also be a quiz on zero waste. Cool. So we'll hear about that. So here it is, you guys. So this is Home Resource, and we are hosting a donor lounge for Give Local Day on May 3rd. We're hoping the weather will be nice. People can enjoy our native landscaping. And we'll host our donor lounge here in our Garden of Giving. These are our trees that show people who've donated in the past. And we have the picnic table. And right here are found sounds. So if anyone's a little antsy, they can make music on things made from reused building materials. We are, will be having some refreshments, drinks and treats and People can come into the store as well if they're interested. We're excited to have Give Local here on May 3rd. Uh, so this is intake at Home Resource. Many of you probably have been here. This is where we accept the donations that make our whole operation go. Every day people bring tons of materials here that we wash and clean and repair and then we get it out on the shelves in the store. And inside the store, any building material you can imagine, we like to say, if you can find it, we have it. This is the tile area. Cabinets and big things. But this is the nuts and bolts of our operation right here. This is the hardware section, literally the nails, screws, door handles, things that you need. This one's for giants, apparently. <laughs> it's a very large door. <laughs> And here we have some of our uh, work programs folks working to fix a door. So these are folks that we offer employment here and we give them job training skills and they learn about green building and materials reuse. And they get a reference, they get to go out and find other jobs. All right, so this is our classroom for our ZWAP program. ZWAP, Knockout Waste in Missoula. It stands for the Zero Waste Ambassadors Program. It's for uh, all Missoula fifth graders have been invited and most of them have come. We have the classes can do a trash tracker. So we have a little visual there. Seven classes have done that so far. This is the information. We teach them about the materials economy, where things come from and where they go and ask them to think of ways besides reduce, reuse, recycle, that they can make a difference. Here's a little example of a zero waste station, the kinds of things, again, to think about where materials go. And then we have all our students sign the wall just to keep it fun. All the materials in here obviously came from donations from the public. 
So come on down to Home Resources on May 3rd for our Give Local Day, where you can find doors, lighting, inspiration, and you can give to your favorite local nonprofits. <laughs> well, those uh, you know, this the hours going by quite fast, people. <laughs> just like just laughing for no reason. <laughs> Everything's great. I have no idea. But of course, uh, let's talk about what we're going to be seeing um, later in, in later in the day. We have yeah. uh, Susan Haypatrick and Mark Haka hosting the show from eleven to three. Yes, the Mark Haka, and of course, the yes, Susan Haypatrick yes. as well. The both of them. The both of them. Together. Yep. And then they're going to have a philanthropy panel. Of course, I can say it, but I can't read it out loud. But of course, they're going to have like people who raise money and give money and basically who know money. And they're going to be having a nice little panel just to the left of us. And we're going to like film it and have a nice little discussion about what it means to give local and what it means to make money and buy and sell things. Yeah. Let's do a couple more uh, things of trivia, though, before we end our show. Um, okay. And then uh, just one more, uh, just one more thing before yes. uh, we jump into a little more of that trivia. Uh, the last thing we're doing is that from six to eight, we're going to be moving all this live streaming um, equipment on the cameras, all to Imagination Brewing Company, and we're going to be live streaming from there. We're going to have Wake Cool Music featuring Kathy uh, Wiskowski. Um, <laughs> Uh, as I like to call Wazowski, because I'm obsessed with Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the point is um, we're going to have some music along through the day as well, yeah. between 11 and 3. We'll have a, a band or two. Yes, we will. We'll and have our hosts, uh, not us, unfortunately. And so we'll have a whole bunch of PSAs and videos for uh, you guys to enjoy as well. But uh, yes, without we further will. ado, let's play a couple yes. more games, okay. and we'll go to a PSA, and then we'll talk a little bit to more, a little bit more to um, Meredith. Meredith, yeah. Yep. Okay, so this one um, inspires an appreciation and understanding of insects and their relatives through public education and in an innovative science exhibits. Uh, featuring live invertebrates. Okay, yeah, this is easy. Missoula Insectarium. Yep. It because it, it's the only, I, I don't know, I think they, it feels like they've been around for a while, but, but they just haven't really been advertising in no. this list just this last that's, year. That's kind of what Ever I since wondered. they got Rosie the Chilean uh, tarantula that they feed every day like they, at 3.30. Oh gosh, she eats so much. That's a well, fat that's tarantula. I wonder. I, wonder, I wonder if maybe they're under like new ownership <sighs> or under, you know, maybe they've got a new manager because I, no. until this year, I really hadn't heard much about them. I knew they existed. Yeah. But they have lots of different activities for children, and they also have a, a uh, bugs and brews session where you can uh, pay five bucks, buy a beer, and uh, you or beer is included, yeah. and you get to hear from a scientist about bugs, what, which I think is pretty cool. What is uh, the, uh, the the phrase for people who um, eat bugs? Like, oh. there's a there's a whole term for people like there's like oh I'm a vegetarian but I eat bugs, but then like how like, there's some vegetarians who eat fish and that's like a pseudotarian or whatever. Oh, uh, people that eat fish are pescatarians. Pescatarians. I have no. Idea what that is? Yeah. A bugatarian. Bugatarian. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let's play some more. Okay, a okay. couple more, and then okay, we'll more. Um, jump to a PSA. Okay. This next one is um, to help prepare all students in Mon in the Missoula Public Schools to become confident, competent writers by graduation. Mm. We support teachers by recruiting, training, and supervising community volunteers um, who conference individually with every student in the classroom on writing assignments that require critical thinking and revision. Is this the Missoula Writing Collaborative? No. <gasps> this is Writing Coaches of Missoula. What? <laughs> it's okay. <No>. Okay. <laughs> really? Is Writing Coaches oh, of Missoula? That's yes. too bad. What do they do? Um, well, well, basically what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have to listen. I was like, I was like, I'm not even listening. I'm just listening to the key words like writing. Um, coaches um, yeah. in the school. Missoula. So yeah, so what they do is they team up with teachers um, and help prepare students to become better writers so they can, you know, really communicate their ideas efficiently. Yeah. Yeah, and so I don't know how long these guys have been around, but at about 7.30 this morning, they only raised $50. No! So you guys can definitely give back to them. They've really helped improve our children's educations, which is important. You know, they're our future. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do another one. Okay, one more. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so this advances economic independence for Montana women and creates a brighter future for girls. Huh. Uh, what is this? Oh, I'm sure we've interviewed these people. Is it the sophomores? So optimist? Uh, no. 
Uh, okay, what is it? I do have them on here, though. <laughs> it's the Women's Foundation of Montana. Oh! Yes, they, they they're the race. ones that perpetuate um, women's vote. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, so they are trying to raise $1,000. Nice. Yes. Um, so if we check back in, we have raised $25,740. We have got 386 people have donated. That's awesome. So it's only about, yeah, 855, and we've got that many. So that's great. But you guys, uh, we are going to bring Meredith Prince back out here before we end our show just to find out what's going on later in the day and to find out, you know, how she's doing with all this. She's finally, she's spearheaded this, and, uh, you know, the day has come, so I'm sure that she's feeling a sigh of relief as the day goes on. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be back in a few minutes with her. Over the past 18 years, NCBI Missoula has empowered over 53,000 leaders across Montana. That includes students who are empowered to stop bullying and end violence in their schools. Teachers empowered to build school cultures that are safe for all people and support every student. LGBTQ youth who are empowered to be leaders for justice in communities all across Montana. Business and nonprofit leaders empowered to create inclusive workplaces and build bridges across differences and community members who come together each year to celebrate justice and diversity at Missoula's annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day and Diversity Day. During Missoula's Give Local Day, help NCBI and celebrate empowerment by telling us what empowerment means to you. You can tell us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat. You can write it down. Make a video. Or take a picture. Just throw up the Empowerment Montana hashtag and tell us what empowerment means to you. And while you're at it, stop by GiveLocalMissoula.org and make a donation to NCBI Missoula. Join us in celebrating empowerment. Saddened by the lonely mist enveloping the water. I wrote, I realized I'd been living in a dark fog. When people asked how I was doing, my only reply was a quiet fine. And all who wander are lost, I wander. And I never get lost. That's Words of artificial wisdom make my eyes go cross. <laughs> Words of comments on Facebook saying you're ugly and fat from a photo saying to love yourself for who you are. I could never stand city water, they say, as if they'd ever had the chance. Our secret spots discovered with new joy every year. In the Buffalo Falls. The Missoula. Writing. Collaborative. Teach it. Literary. Competence. Critical. Thinking. Cult cultural. <laughs> Awareness. And artistic joy. Through. Creative. Writing. We teach kids to love to write! My name is Barclay Nickel. I'm a board member of Opportunity Resources as well as a client and a volunteer. The uh, Opportunity Ranch in Frenchtown is uh, raising money to help uh, people with disabilities have an accessible campground hiking trails, boat ramps. So please help uh, Opportunity Resources with Give Local by contributing money to a charitable organization. We need the community support in Give Local to support um, people with disabilities and to support the ranch of building the future home of an all-access campground. Opportunity Resources helps so many people of, uh, in all Western Montana during Give Local Please consider Opportunity Resources as a reliable contribution to supporting people with disabilities and enhancing the quality of life. Oh, no. Hi, I am Anastasia, the volunteer and outreach coordinator at the Pavarella Center. And I'm Laura, the development associate at the Pavarella Center. At the POV, we provide shelter for people experiencing homelessness, a soup kitchen, 
a food pantry, specific services for veterans, and also a homeless outreach team that reaches beyond our shelter walls to talk with folks who may not be ready to come into shelter yet and also to make sure that all of our neighbors and business owners are feeling safe and productive in our community. We provide all of these services 365 days a year in Missoula. And on Tuesday, May 3rd, we will be participating with Give Local Missoula. So if you choose to support us with Give Local, you will help us support those in need providing food and shelter, help and hope. Thanks, Missoula. Thank you, Missoula. I'm Paige Good. I'm Jennifer Anthony. And we're with Preserve Historic Missoula. Our mission is to educate the population about the importance of historic preservation and how it makes Missoula what Missoula is. We're interested in preserving some of Missoula's most historic sites because once they're gone, we can't get them back. And um, our history and the character of our city is founded on those buildings. Uh, the more we lose, the less, the less we have left. We've come to partner with Give Local so that we can raise funds to continue our efforts to bring attention to these uh, very special historic sites, as well as give back to the community along with some other local charities. So you can find out more about us at preservehistoricmissoula.org and savethemerc.org. Thank you. Well, Meredith is here to help us end the show yes. for you guys this morning on Wake Up Missoula's Give Local a Morning Special here on MCAT Live Streaming <laughs> on MCAT.org. At the Florence Building. At the Florence Building. Yes. Downtown, beautiful downtown Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> In Montana. <laughs> but of course, Meredith, uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, more about Give Local and yeah. what about what, what people can expect for the rest of the day in terms of like donor lounges, uh, our live stream as well. Yeah, yeah. So, gosh, donor lounges. So we'll be here at the Florence from 8 to 5. Uh, at 11.30, I've heard that there's going to be some Biga Pizza delivered, yes. courtesy of Submittable. So if y'all are hungry, come down to donate at the donor lounge here, get some free pizza. Um, we, yeah, if you go to the givelocalmissoula.org website and click on, there's a link that takes you to the list of all the different donor lounges around town. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's see, we've got, oh, if you like puppies, go out to the fort. Uh, <laughs> they are open, I think, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and they've got puppies you can pet. I think there's also pizza there. There's <laughs> tours mm -hmm. of the historical museum. Um, we'll be at Imagination Brewing from 6 to 8 p.m. for the home stretch celebration. Uh, Way Cool Music is going to be playing. Nice. Um, then from 8 to 10 p.m., we'll be at the Mask Studio, which is on oh, Shakespeare. Yes. And they're going to be doing some aerial performances, and there'll be free wine. Um, That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. And then yeah. there's Missoula Fresh Market and Rose Hours and the Missoula Federal Credit Union. There's 16 different locations you can go to today and donate. Yeah. Or just donate from home or work yeah. online at givelocalmissoula.org. And you can go to those different locations and, you know, capitalize on their free coffee and free sandwiches. And yeah. And as long as you donate. Yeah, right. and a Give Local is a good excuse for you guys to go check out the nonprofits that you never thought you would, you could go to yeah. and donate mm -hmm. to them as well. Um, you know, you have your Missoula Senior Center. They're doing bingo. So if you guys like bingo, <laughs> yeah. they're having some bingo there pretty much all day. Starting at 12.45 until 3. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there are lots of different things. And so right now we've raised $26,405. Nope. Um, you know, getting closer to our goal of 300000 We are trying to beat Bozeman, and we're a little bit behind. Yeah. People, please donate. Even people from Bozeman, donate to us. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're ganging up on them. They're, they're about a, a little bit over 40000 They are. But it, the yes. day is still young, and you guys still have about uh, 15 hours to donate to uh, givelocalmissoula.org. Yes. Yep, we won't even mention uh, the website where you can donate to Bozeman, so just yeah. forget about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything else you want to say? Anything that we yeah. missed on? I think Not really. I just wanted to thank you guys and thank everybody 
for giving today mm -hmm. and being part of our wonderful community. Yes, yeah. Right. Do, do we, do we, we can end the show anytime. Do we want to challenge Meredith to uh, oh, okay. see well, what nonprofit yes. is which? Because we've been yes. reading mission statements yeah. and <laughs> seeing which uh, nonprofit. Ooh. Okay. Because there's a lot of nonprofits here in Missoula. Here. And right. uh, um, yeah. Um, okay, give, give me a shot. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Okay, so an organization of women at their best, helping other women to be their best. As a volunteer organization of businesses and professional women, we feel uniquely qualified to help women and girls live their dreams. I'm going to say Seroptimus. Good job, Mary! Oh, Woo! I was thinking that same yes. thing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it really helps because Nikki Rob was just here, too. Like yeah. She's just kind of hanging Nikki out with Rob. Meredith. Oh, yep. was she? Oh, she, we should have gotten her on. Yeah. yeah. She'll be back later. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Good job, Meredith. Thank you. <laughs> They've been kind of hard. No one's gotten them. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I we, should get them, we right? Quizzed that. We quizzed uh, Jack, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was really funny because uh, the nonprofit we chose was Time Bank, yeah. and he works on a bank, and Time Bank doesn't use money, so it's I interesting. Know, I, didn't even that that. I was just like, this looks good. Like I, I think it worked out great. It was just like, huh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Well, you guys, that's it for our Wake Up Missoula Tuesday morning extravaganza at the Florence <laughs> Building. Uh, we will be live all day long for Give Local. We're going to cut out our live stream until about 11 o'clock. And then Susan Hay Patrick and the Mark Haka will be here. And what about the, the Susan Hay Patrick? The Susan Hay Patrick and the Mark Haka, the <laughs> two of them <laughs> together. <laughs> Starting around 11. So uh, sit tight, go grab some breakfast, go to some donor lounges, and tune back in at 11. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noelle McFoy. I'm Scott Ramp. Here's a Meredith Prince. Thank you.